Alrighty, what's going up everyone on YouTube? Uh, yes, Roar. Um, let's keep on going with part three of my Blackbuster haul. Um, I have about 30 movies or so left. Well, let's just uh, get started. Next we have Pandorium. Um, this is one movie that I've heard uh, mixed things on. You know, I hear that some people really like it and others don't. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. As a, you know, I love horror movies, so I, I, this is one I haven't seen, but I've heard things from some people that really like it and some that don't, so I don't know. But for a buck, sure. Alright, next I picked up uh, Land of the Dead. I really don't know why I picked this one up. I really didn't enjoy it that much when I saw it back in theaters, and I, th I think it was 04. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 04 or 05. I, re I really didn't enjoy this one. I really liked, enjoyed the Dawn of the Dead remake a lot more than this. But for a dollar, I'll, I'll give it another watch and see if I like it again. Um, and it's the unrated version that usually comes out. And, come out on Blu-ray and stuff, so um, I'll give it another watch, I suppose. Alright, next we have uh, Youth and Refault. Um, oh, this is rated R, I didn't know that. Huh, thought it was PG-13. Hmm. Might make it good now. <laughs> um, you know, what I've been wanting to check out for a while as well. I didn't know it was rated R, <laughs> but um, it's supposed to be really funny, you know, everybody that I've watched here on YouTube has picked it up, have picked it up and said it was uh, pretty good, so um, I'm, I'm curious to watch and see how it is, you know, I'm not the biggest Michael Ciro fan, but, Ciro, Ciro, how the fuck you say his name, but um, I'm interested in watching it, we'll see. I say so many people's names are really hilariously awesome. <laughs> uh, next we picked up uh, Silent Hill. I really like this movie. I, I thought it was pretty scary. I enjoyed it a lot. And my friend told me to buy it that it looks absolutely awesome on Blu-ray. So um, I'm, I'm pretty excited to pop this in and watch this again. I haven't watched it since it came out in the theaters. So I'm pretty excited to pop this one in again and watch it. Really looking forward to that. Next we have uh, Michael Clayton. Um, this is another movie that I thought was really awesome when it got nominated for Best Picture. That It, it had a chance to win in my opinion. But what year did this come out in? 07, right? Yeah. 07, so that was the year of Crash. I think Crash. I don't remember. But I, I really like this movie. I thought it was a really good thriller type movie. And for a buck, definitely had to grab it. Next we have uh, Bad Lieutenant, Port of New Orleans. Port of Call, New Orleans. I really love this film. I have this on DVD and I really enjoyed it. This is one of my favorite Nicolas Cage movies in a long time. He's been in utter shit lately. And this film was just absolutely phenomenal and he was brilliant in it. It's definitely an awesome movie. And definitely check this one out if you haven't seen it before. What is that sound? But, um, you know, it's really awesome. If you like the original Bad Lieutenant, you'll definitely like this one. This one's really cool. Next we have uh, the men who oh, the men who stare at goats. This is a blind buy, you know. It's absolutely got shit reviews when it came out uh, in theaters, but I don't want you to check it out. And for a buck, I'll, I'll pick it up. Why not? So this. I want to address one thing before I continue. I don't, want, I don't want you guys thinking I'm some rich bratty kid who goes and asks his parents to buy the, all these things for me. I pay for everything by myself. Either 
working or just selling stuff on the internet and taking the money and buying this stuff. I pay for everything that you see in my videos. My parents don't pay for anything. So I just want to get that out of the way right now before people are like, oh my god, you're rich and spoiled and all this shit. That's not true. I pay for every movie I buy. So, um, let's continue. <laughs> Next we have, uh, Across the Universe. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really good. And I'm not that big of a musical type person. But I really enjoyed this movie. I liked it a lot. I thought the soundtrack was awesome and how they took the Beatles songs and pretty much made it into a movie. It's really cool how they could take the lyrics and make a movie out of it. Definitely one of my favorite musicals up there with Tommy. So that's Across the Universe. Like I said, we have Mission Impossible 2. It's the only copy that I saw the whole weekend, so that was cool. Um, like I said, this is a pretty solid series. I thought they were fun action movies. and For a dollar, I'll, I'll buy it and just put it on my shelf and watch it when I have some free time. Uh, Next we have The Wrestler. This is another movie that I've been wanting to pick up for a really long time. But I've never been got a chance to pick it up. And, you know, I don't think... Yeah, it was as good as Black Swan, in my opinion. But it's, it's a different type of movie. And if you like Mickey work, definitely check this one out. It does a really great job in this movie. Really solid performance. Definitely check this out. Okay, let's do one more. Finally, for this part, we have uh, Dinner for Schmucks. Um, I was surprised to see this, especially for a dollar. It's the only copy they had. I'm surprised no one picked it up, but I'm interested to see this, you know. I'm not a huge fan of Steve Carell. I mean, he, he's an okay guy, you know. 40 Year Old Virgin and Anchorman was his two best movies, and those were. A long time ago, he hasn't made that good of a movie in a while. But, you know, for 99 cents, for a movie that just came out a year ago, maybe, definitely had to pick this one up. It's there for schmucks. So, um, I'm going to stop right now. Um, hopefully, I'll only be one more part, but if it's two parts, then so be it. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you in a few minutes.